What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and earlier this week I posted a beginner's guide to playing Countdown and in the comments section of that video many of you reached out asking me to highlight one of my favorite builds that benefits not only you but your teammates as well. So that is exactly what I'm bringing you today my friends. Now I do not want to waste your time. We're going to jump right into the build breakdown. After that I will show you some gameplay footage. Now we're going to start with a specialization. We're using Survivalist and the main reason for that is because on this version of the build I want to try to stack protection from elites. This specialization gives you an extra 10%. You have other options as well, but remember, regardless of which specialization you choose, always make sure you have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree. That way you're getting a 15% weapon damage bonus, regardless of which one you're using. Now my primary for this build is St. Elmo's Engine. This is one of the must-have weapons in the game. And if you don't have this, I recommend hitting up Countdown, setting your targeted loot to Assault Rifle. And the reason this is so effective is not only because of its talent where shooting an enemy with this weapon will give you one stack and at 100 stacks the next magazine will be filled with shock ammo but when you look at the mods you're getting that 20% crit hit damage 30 extra rounds 20% weapon handling and 20% crit hit chance as well it makes this thing an absolute monster now as far as the secondary and the handgun are concerned it's really up to you my friends you can put anything there you want I'm running with the dark winter and the TDI card with the talent close and personal now, when we make our way to the gear itself. You can see I'm using four true Patriot, one Grupo, and the Coyote's Mask, which we are going to start with. Now, if you do not have this, I recommend hitting up Countdown, or you can farm anywhere the mask is the targeted loot. The reason this is so effective is because it has the talent pack instincts where you and all of your allies are going to gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit and you can see how those damage numbers break down right below. Now the good thing is typically when you're running countdown there will be multiple agents that are using this mask which means you can have all three of those buffs going at the same time which makes this thing absolutely insane. Moving on to the body armor, it is the one piece of Grupo we have equipped, so we get that 15% crit hit damage bonus. Now my goal with this build is to try to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. And you'll notice that on every piece of gear that I have the ability to add a mod, I am adding protection from elites, and that will definitely help those of you out there who are just getting used to this game mode. You can see I'm using the Talent Vanguard. And with that talent, anytime you deploy a shield, it's going to make it invulnerable for 5 seconds. And it's going to grant 45% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds. And for those of you out there who are just getting used to playing Countdown, you're worried about your character's survivability, that is definitely going to help you out. And in the meantime, you're helping out the other agents as well. Now moving on to the holster, it is the first of four pieces of the True Patriot gear set. We're running all four so we get all of the gear set bonuses two pieces 30% ammo capacity, three pieces 30% magazine size, and four pieces red, white, and blue. Every two seconds, enemies you shoot receive a stacking debuff of red, white, and blue. Red amplifies the enemy's damage taken by 8%. White shooting the enemy repairs the attacking agent's armor by 2% once every second. Blue decreases the enemy's damage dealt by 8%. And we also have full flag. Enemies that die under the effect of all three debuffs create a 5 meter explosion, dealing damage equal to their total health and armor. That now takes us to the knee pads, gloves, and backpack. They are the three remaining pieces of the True Patriot gear set. And once again, I am trying to stack that crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and protection from elites everywhere I can. And because we are using the True Patriot bag, we do have the talent patriotic boost as well, which is going to increase the red, white, and blue debuff strength. Red is going to go from 8 to 12, white 2 to 3, and blue from 8 to 12 as well. Now as far as your skills are concerned, you definitely want to use a shield because of the talent on your chest. That is how you proc that talent. And when it comes to the secondary skill, you can see I'm using the decoy. And you can use any other skill you want with this build, but remember you want to stay away from hackable skills. Do not use the assault drone, the assault turret, seeker mines, stinger hive, things like that because hunters will hack those at the very end. And you will wind up murdering the rest of your squad and people will not be very happy with that. Now moving on to my numbers, you can see I'm sitting at 48% crit hit chance, 128 crit hit damage, and again, that is without the boost from that mask. And it's important to mention that those numbers are also going to be dependent on having a shade watch of level 1000. When we make our way to the defensive stats, you can see I'm sitting at 46% protection from elites, and when you combine that with the talent on your chest, it is definitely going to help you out, my fellow agents, so if you are just jumping into this game mode, I recommend this build. I sincerely hope this helps you out, and as always, if you 
have questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the family that we have here at the channel. So as always, if you have any tips or tricks you want to pass along to new and returning players, please let me know as our goal here is to help out as many people as possible. On that note, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage. And one thing I tell people who are just jumping into this game mode is that if you are worried about your survivability, I really recommend being the agent in the group that is focused on completing those encounters. That way you definitely get to the main objective. And always remember when you get to the very end, you truly want to move together as a group. You do not want to just go ham and just go, you know, just, just follow the rest of the group. Work together, my fellow agents. You know how much I appreciate the privilege of your time. Now, one thing I failed to mention at the beginning of the video, we do have giveaways at the channel, and as you can see, our current one is for an Xbox Series S. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced April 4th of this year. That is going to do it for my part in this video, my fellow agents. I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time, and as I mention at the end of every one of these, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Evacuate the facility. Excessive magnetic discharge detected. EMP system purge required. Hostiles neutralized. You should be able to.
system back online. Well, that was a little too close. One minute. Yeah, it's because we did the um, VIP. That can take much longer sometimes. That can be twice as long as the other objectives. But, hey, we made it. That's what matters. Alright, scoop up this loot. I gotta get some inventory space. There we go. Why is that agent frozen? Oh no. Oh no. Man. You know what? I, this is my fault. Because the other day I was saying that I never ever crash playing Countdown. And that's, that's karma punching me in the face. Oh well. What are you going to do? Well, that's not the ending I intended, my fellow agents. But that's what you get. All right, I think I'm just going to turn this thing off. Anyway, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and I will see you in the next one. Appreciate you all.